Hello cricket fans, welcome to USA Cricket Spotlight, ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024 special on Biff Cricket. Today we have a treat for you. We will be taking you to the site of the Nassau County Cricket Stadium in New York for some exclusive behind-the-scenes images. The Nassau County Stadium is earmarked to become the first fully retractable international cricket stadium and will serve as one of the main venues for the 2024 ICC T20 World Cup. The World Cup will be hosted in the USA and the Caribbean and will, in addition to New York, will be played at the Grand Prairie Stadium in Dallas, Texas and at the Broward County Stadium in Lauderhill, Florida. As you can see with these Biff Cricket exclusive footage, construction is underway at the Nassau County Stadium and is set to be completed by May 2024, just in time for the start of the World Cup. The month-long tournament, which bowls off on June 1st and ends on June 29th, will display several of the best players in the world. They include India batting great Virat Kohli, Pakistan stroke maker Babar Azam, Ace England batter Joss Butler, Australian fast bowler Mitchell Stark and big hitting West Indian all-rounder Andre Russell. The Nassau County Stadium is set to host eight matches, including the blockbuster clash between arch-rivals India and Pakistan on June 9th. The first match at the Nassau Stadium, in the meantime, will be played between outside favourites South Africa and Sri Lanka on June 3rd. Ticket sales for the matches went live on February 1st, 2024, with the ICC introducing a public ballot system, the public ballot is a fair and transparent way of allocating tickets to the fans who can apply for up to six tickets per match. The tickets are priced from $10 to $150 depending on the match and the category. The public ballot has seen an overwhelming response from the fans with 1.2 million ticket applications coming in the first 48 hours. A person can apply for tickets on the ICC website or tournament's online portal. The Nassau County Stadium is designed to be a short-term and sustainable solution using steel and aluminum and reusing the grandstands from the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix. After the World Cup, the stadium is set to be removed and the site returned to the public as a park. The venue will also have a drop-in pitch like other types used around the world, including at Adelaide Oval in Australia and Eden Park in England. The wicket is currently being curated in Florida and will be transported by road to New York in early May. The Nassau County Stadium has been designed by Populous, the venue architecture firm, which has designed some of the most iconic stadiums in the world. This includes the New York Yankees and New York Mets stadiums. Populous are also the architects behind the stadium, the Narendra Modi Stadium in India, the largest cricket stadium in the world, and the modern Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in England. According to Jeff Keyes, a senior principal at Populous, the stadium is inspired by the world-class standards set by the ICC. He also said that the hope is that the venue, which is a stone's throw away from New York City centre, will serve as an exemplary introduction for Americans who are new to the sport. Cricket is a truly global sport with a passionate, knowledgeable fan base. And we are thrilled to partner with the ICC and help bring the Men's T20 Cricket World Cup to the USA, said Keyes. The modular, sustainable stadium we have designed will create a fantastic experience for both you and international cricket fans and visitors to enjoy watching the world's best teams and players. The curation of the Nassau County Wicket is being undertaken by Adelaide Oval Turf Solutions, led by renowned Adelaide Oval head curator Damien Ho. The playing outfield, in the meanwhile, is being delivered by the Lantec Group, a US-based sports turf expert. Lantec has worked with the New York Yankees and New York Mets, as well as Major League Soccer heavyweights, into Miami FC. The stadium, which is in touching distance off New York's vibrant city centre, will feature dedicated fan zones with a variety of food and beverage outlets, as well as global leading media and broadcast areas. 
These features, which are already available at the Broward County Stadium in Florida and the Grand Prairie Stadium in Texas, will allow the Nassau County Stadium to deliver a world-class experience. ICC Chief Executive Officer Jeff Allardyce, in expressing similar sentiments, said the organization is looking forward to the Nassau County Stadium completion. Allardyce said, it is an incredibly important milestone in the lead-up to the biggest ICC event ever. With work commencing on the stadium, which will be able to accommodate 34,000 cricket fans, we are partnering with world-class suppliers to deliver the modular stadium to ensure that players and fans can enjoy an unforgettable experience. The World Cup will be the largest in the tournament's history, with 20 international teams playing 55 matches across nine cities. The matches will be played cross for groups of five teams. The USA will face a tough, challenging group where they will meet favourites India, contenders Pakistan, Ireland and neighbours. Canada, the Americans as is the case with the Canadians, will be making their debut and are expected to have a tough time against former winners India and Pakistan, as well as giant slayers Ireland. Group B features the last two winners of the tournament, England and Australia, who will clash in Barbados on June 7th. Both teams have strong and experienced squads and will be confident of making it to the Super 8 stage. However, they should be keen of not underestimating the other teams in the group, namely Namibia, Scotland and Oman, who have all shown that they can compete with the best in the T20 format. Group C will see the co-hosts West Indies, who will be aiming to win their third title on home soil after their triumphs in 2012 and 2016. They are, however, expected to face some tough competition from title aspirants New Zealand, giant slayers Afghanistan, African surprise package Uganda and Pacific hopefuls Papua New Guinea, who will all be eager to display their skills and challenge the big guns. Group D, in the meantime, consists of South Africa, perennial qualifiers Sri Lanka, outside challengers Bangladesh, recent upstarts Netherlands and rising Asian stars Nepal, South Africa and Sri Lanka have some of the most talented and experienced players in the world, while Bangladesh have a balanced and versatile team. Meanwhile, the Netherlands and Nepal have some promising and exciting players who have impressed in the T20 leagues round the world. It is the first time USA will host matches at a Cricket World Cup with 16 first-round matches. West Indies, who hosted the event in 2007, will hold matches at Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua and Barbuda, Kensington Oval in Barbados, and the National Stadium in Guyana, as well as the Darren Sammy Cricket Stadium in St. Lucia, Arno's Vale Stadium in St. Vincent, and the Brian Lara Cricket Stadium in Trinidad and Tobago. So there you have it, folks, a sneak peek of the under-construction Nassau County Cricket Stadium in New York and a glimpse of what to expect from 2024 ICC T20 Men's World Cup. What are your views on the tournament? Will you attend or watch any of the matches? Let us know your thoughts, views and opinions in the comments section as well as do not forget to watch or subscribe to more episodes of USA Cricket Spotlight, as well as other T20 World Cup shows here on Biff Cricket.